in addition to my role as founder of Clean Out Gambia, I sit um, in the United Nations um, Secretary General's Advisory Group on Climate Change, which is um, the YAG. So um, we have obviously heard from the different panelists about the innovative approaches that they're using to address the sustainable development goal problems that we're facing. But if you look around the room, you will see that there are so many young people sitting here. This shows that youth obviously are very much interested and eager to learn and also collaborate in addressing the problems that we are facing. I come from a, a continent, Africa, in which majority of our population obviously includes young people. So over 50% of our population um, constitute of youth. And in our communities, youth have been leading and driving innovative solutions in addressing the problems that we're facing by using digital tools to support communities that are impacted by climate change. For instance, we see small-scale farmers, as well as other vulnerable groups that are affected by climate change, having young people in the front line providing tools that will also not only provide early warning systems for them, but also supporting them in just their activities in general. But the sad reality is, with the innovative work that young people are doing around the world, there are obviously gaps in how well young people's skills and experiences have been utilized. So what I'll advise, or my takeaway from here, and a takeaway to everyone present here is, first of all, we need to build more partnerships with young people that are in the front line addressing the climate problems that we are facing. As I always say in my conversations, the government can do it alone, the private sector can do it alone, and young people can do it alone. So we need collaboration and partnership in advancing the sustainable development goals that we're facing, especially climate-related issues. So when I'm talking about partnerships here, I'm talking about long-term partnerships that will include financing youth projects that are addressing climate problems that we're facing. Because I've observed that most of the partnerships and the funding that young people have been receiving have been shut down. So for us to ensure that we find effective and sustainable solutions to the problems that we face, there needs to be long-term partnership with these young people at the local level where it matters the most, where at the grassroots level where it matters the most. In addition to that, we need to ensure that more platforms are provided for young people. Platforms like this, where young people will share the solutions and the problems um, in their communities, as well as what they have been doing in supporting communities to build their resilience in addressing climate-related problems. And finally, obviously, as I always say, um, with the work that we continue to do, with the knowledge that we continue to have, and the skills that we continue to build along the way, it's also important to have platforms where we will continue to build the capacities of young people and also increase their level of awareness. Because some of us are in this space, we have been able to build our experiences, but there are thousands and millions of young people around the world who still need opportunities for them to be able to learn as well as grow, to be able to lead sustainable solutions in their communities and beyond. So to private sectors around here, to the government around here, we need solid partnerships with young people. We need to build strategic collaborations with these young people at the local level, at the grassroots level, supporting their projects, supporting their initiatives that are advancing climate solutions. Thank you so much.